Hi, I'm Joseph Padfield, one of the principal scientists working in the National Gallery in London. I've worked there for over 20 years now, researching a wide range of things, including preventive conservation, technical examination, documentation, information sharing and data management. My work has included a wide range of collaborative national and EU research projects, as well as internal uh, projects. Um, some of the more the bigger ones at the moment include Iperion HS and Eris IP. Now, in this video, I will be introducing a web-based tool that has been designed to help check light exposure plans for exhibitions and general displays. It's called the Lux Allowance Calculator. The source code for this tool is hosted on GitHub, along with the tool's live interactive user interface. This tool was originally developed within the National Gallery for internal use, but its continued development and public presentation is also being supported by the EU Horizon 2020 project, Iperion HS. Now, the purpose of the Lux Allowance Calculator is to establish if a planned period of display can be accommodated based on a maximum permissible annual exposure allowance. So instead of just saying you can use 150 Lux, you're fine, it's actually looking at the accumulative total of uh, Lux exposure based on the opening hours, the uh, closures, the room closures, overnight levels, all sorts of things. It's the total amount. So this is achieved by calculating a planned total exposure for a period of display based on the selected dates, the opening hours and the set points, and then comparing it to an appropriate proportion of that annual allowance. So the maximum permissible annual allowance exposures uh, used within the calculation are taken from the conservation literature and are selected based on a, the general light sensitivity of different classes of heritage object. Uh, the most recent uh, of this is the lighting, uh, Museum Lighting Book, um, written by uh, David Saunders. Now, the, the general sort of thought process behind the calculator is you begin with planning a display event, an exhibition, a general display or whatever. And this display event will uh, need to display a certain class of objects. So we pick the most sensitive object in that display, and this is the one you do the calculations on. Uh, this event will also determine the length of the event. So it will have a start date and an end date, and there'll be associated opening hours and operational security hours and, and so on and so forth in relation to that event. Now, the particular class of object will create a default set of set, uh, set points and limits, which can then, some of them can then be edited, but it will also define the uh, appropriate annual exposure allowance. So the... Uh, Date uh, for the event will determine what proportion of that annual allowance can be used for the event and all of the opening hours and the set points will uh, be used to calculate a planned exposure total for that event. Now by comparing the two of them you can find out whether the planned display will result in an over or under exposure of the objects being displayed. Now if a planned exposure total is too high, users can adjust the various selected set points, perhaps open the, uh, alter the opening hours, and potentially compensate for planning uh, by planning for additional dark storage time. So putting the objects uh, in storage before or after the event to uh, compensate for the increased amount of light. If a planned exposure is less than the maximum allowance, the tool will summarize how the difference might be used in relation to planned out of hours events. So basically, if you have uh, X number of lux hours left, that can equate to uh, so many press events or so many evening uh, events within the exhibition or display. Now, using the tool, uh, the tool can be accessed using the following link. Um, the tool website also offers further documentation and discussion. So I will now swap to the tool itself and show you how it works. Now, when you open up the link, um, the default landing page is actually the tool itself. So at the top, you can see uh, some menu options, home, instructions and about, as well as links back to GitHub where the, the code for the, the tool is stored. Uh, home brings you back basically to the, the actual tool itself. Um, instructions, which you can uh, have a little look at, uh, go through uh, all of the steps of how the calculator is actually used and it's basically what I'm going to be talking about um, in the rest of this video here. Um, the about gives you uh, a bit more information about the purpose uh, of the calculator um, and why, why it was how it came about basically. 
But if we go back to the actual tool itself, um, what you can see is that there are some date fields to indicate the start and end of a given um, uh, a given display event. Uh, there's a drop down uh, drop down list here to uh, pick what type of opening profiles. This uh, selects the number of open hours on which days. So the default here for an NG standard is excuse me, eight hours a day with an extra two hours for operational cleaning, maintenance, security, says. Uh, but on Friday, we are open for 11 hours, um, plus those two extra hours for operational cleaning. The next choice is the uh, sensitivity of the ob object. Um, again, you can select from a drop-down list. Um, the note here will change depending on which one you select. Um, we'll explain roughly uh, what that class of object is. Below is the uh, main section uh, of the uh, set points and limits. Um, the default values in here are selected or filled in automatically by uh, selecting an object type. Some of them are greyed out in general. Uh, so the minimum lux, uh, display lux, it's basically you need to be able to see to walk through your space. Uh, we've set it 35 and a maximum display lux of about 250 lux uh, are set there. Um, and the annual allowance for a low light sensitivity object is 600,000 kilolux hours per year. Okay, now the rest of the uh, fields you can actually change and alter. Um, so the display, um, operational, how, you know, how bright it needs to be for cleaning and how dark the room can be overnight. Um, and the display period I will come to uh, a little later. Now, um, the total here, you can see the summary um, says that this particular default event is set to pull up a week um, based on uh, the current date. And it says tells you what the uh, pro rata allowance is for a week. And it tells you what's been allocated based on the type of event and opening hours we've given. So in this case, uh, we have a surplus of a thousand six lux hours, uh, which could be used for additional events. Now, within the National Gallery, um, uh, special events are often lit at slightly lower levels, um, potentially at 60 percent or 40 percent of normal display. So the summary here just gives you what those uh, amounts are. So this surplus would allow for uh, 11 hours of um, extra events at a 60 percent um, uh, lighting level lux. At the bottom, you can see a shareable link here. This effectively takes all of the information, all of the choices you've you've got and wraps them into a, a long link, uh, a compressed link with all the data so that that can be shared or bookmarked or kept uh, referencing for sending to other people uh, for discussion. Um, so that's it isn't stored in a database or anything. So the data is actually stored in the link itself. Um, and that's how you use it. Now, that gives you the rough idea of the general tool. It's, it's quite straightforward. Um, the one thing I'd say is that um, if you are uh, have a surplus and it's okay, this is how it's presented. Um, I will just pick one which I know will give you a error. So therefore, if you are overexposed, if you don't have enough uh, lux uh, allowance for a given event, um, it will be marked in red, but it actually just just for just in case it's an issue, it specifically says caution overexposure by and a given amount. And what it does is then recommends that uh, for this event to go ahead, you would need to compensate for this week long exhibition with two days and 13 hours of uh, dark storage uh, of the objects to then account for uh, the required allocation, the overall exposure. So that's how it roughly works. Now, these settings are set up for the National Gallery. So as I said, we've got the uh, National Gallery standard and National Gallery exception. But we also have included for uh, everyone else the custom option. So you can customize the opening hours of a given event. So here you pick what the default opening hour is for the week. So what the displayers hours are and how long uh, is required for uh, security or cleaning um, uh, activities. You can then add in any uh, number of additional days. So if the whole week is exactly the same, you could just leave it like this. Um, if you need additional days, you can then pick them from the drop down and say, well, actually, we're open longer on a Thursday. Um, uh, there we are. And you can see that the summary here changes. So it now says open eight hours a day with one extra hour for cleaning. And Thursdays are open at 11 hours for one extra clean hours of cleaning. OK, so then that allows you to define um, the opening hours for any given event that you want to uh, 
look at. Now, I should say while you're actually adjusting these numbers, so effectively, if you wanted to try and make sure that this type of event was uh, acceptable, we could say that we are going to clean uh, in, in the dark, potentially, um, uh, which still doesn't quite work. We're still overexposed for this particular one. Uh, it's very light sensitive work. Um, but you can see here that because I've adjusted that number, um, it's been flagged as yellow just to see it's been edited. Now, you can say here that, um, as I said, there's a max lux for this type of object of 50. Now, if I try to put in uh, 500, for instance, um, it defaults it back to 50 and then shows that it's been limited. So it's highlighted in red. So you can get two other uh, highlighting. Gray is uh, read only. It's, it's locked. Yellow is you've edited it and uh, red will give you the indication that it's been artificially pushed back to a limit. Now, this type of exhibition, as you can see, doesn't really work. We're, we're seeing we've got a red uh, overexposure here and we don't have enough time. So some degree of uh, dark storage is required. Now, you can just work with the, the default amount as, as indicated there. But what you can do is plan um, additional time. So if you say that um, we want two days extra, uh, so we're saying that the actual display event is only about 75% of the time. Uh, so we can change that to there. And if we set that, we can say that we're planning, deliberately planning two days and eight hours of uh, dark storage. And we have an adjusted allowance of 3,834. So in this case, we do have additional uh, time, very short amount of time here for some uh, events. So these are the numbers that you can adjust and ensure that you can have um, an event or a display exhibition that works. Uh, you have sufficient lighting to be able to see and navigate the space, but you can then potentially also accommodate additional events. So that's how the tool works. And as I said, that is uh, given in more detail in the instructions and uh, you can read more of that information there about um, exactly how the tool works and experiment with it. Now, there's one other thing you can do which uh, makes it slightly more acceptable or accessible to non-National Gallery people. Um, if you're using it as a one-off, then using these custom settings um, can work quite well. But if you found that you're actually wanting to use the tool regularly, then that may be a bit sort of tedious or, or, or a bit time consuming. So you might want to standardize it. And it is possible to actually uh, define um, a set of uh, additional configurations. So all of this information here, all of the set points and standards are defined in a simple uh, JSON document. It's a, it's a human written document. Um, if I move over to the GitHub space, you can actually see this document uh, is stored in the build folder and is this uh, document here. And for each given thing, for an object type, you can say no light sensitivity. It says what the annual total is. It gives you the comment and defines the lux level, the maximum minimums and so on and so forth. So it's pretty human readable there. You can see that. So one of the options are is you just copy the whole tool um, and then edit this uh, to give you um, the information you need. The other option is you can create a uh, configuration file yourself um, and then just paste it onto the end of the URL. So you can see this is up the top. Um, you can, actually, I'm saying this now. I don't think you can actually see it. Um, so if we look in the instructions, you can see that uh, right down the bottom here, it actually says that um, you can have a, a URL and you can extend it to include a link to another configuration file. In this case, this is an example configuration file. So if we click on this one, it takes us back to the tool. It looks fairly similar. But if we look in the drop down, we have, have some additional options uh, for extra opening hours. And there are also additional options for other types of object. So therefore, it is possible for you to then save that uh, link as a bookmark and use the tool quite regularly with these additional settings uh, and set points that are required by your institution. OK, so I'm going to stop the video now and uh, uh, allow people to have a play and see how well it works. Thank you very much.